everyone Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another fashion video do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos all right you all so welcome to a fun video today we are doing my 10 winter wardrobe favorites the pieces that I love to wear all winter long I'm actually going to show you my favorites as well as how I style them with photos and also video inserts so if you're looking for a little winter outfit inspiration from sweaters skirts dresses coats boots you are in the right place. We're gonna go ahead and get started with my outfit of the day because it features three pieces that I'm loving for winter. All right guys, so for the accessories, I am wearing my favorite Louis Vuitton earrings. Love these, definitely got my money's worth since I've had them the past two years. The necklaces are both from Majuri. This oversized super cozy sweater is from and other stories this is sold out it's super old but of course i have linked a few of my favorite sweaters that are similar down in the description box the skirt is actually a vintage find that i got from i believe either goodwill or salvation army maybe like two years ago um, I actually wore this recently. I kind of shut down Instagram with it. Everyone loved the skirt. Unfortunately, there's no tag inside. But of course, I have linked a few of my favorite multicolored similar skirts down below for you guys. The boots are my favorite. They are the Stuart Weitzman Parton boots. They are the perfect shade of caramel brown. They go with everything perfect for winter. And of course, in the photos that I posted on Instagram, I paired this with a Gucci tote bag that I love. For a designer bag, very affordable, um, under two grand, I believe, a lot under that. So if you're interested in this outfit of the day, I have linked it down below or similars and you guys can shop the look. So without further ado, we're going to get into my top 10 winter favorites. Now we will go ahead and start with number one on the list. These are not in any particular order, by the way. I love them all equally, but we will start with a chunky, cozy sweater. A cozy, chunky, either knit or wool sweater for winter. Absolutely love them. I actually, like this is my favorite sweater. I wear it so much, but they just go with everything and I love styling them with a midi skirt and a high boot that is basically my outfit when it comes to winter i still love to wear skirts in the winter time so having a tall boot having a, a midi skirt and a chunky sweater that's my go-to outfit i tend to repeat this look sweater midi skirt tall boot all winter long and of course those are the three things those are the three favorites on my list so i wanted to show you all a few of my favorite sweaters in addition to the one i'm wearing from and other stories i have this super chunky knit brown sweater i believe this is from mango i've had this sweater for years you guys um, mango has some incredible sweaters i will link this down below i recently wore this with a midi skirt and a booty uh such a good quality sweater another one that i've been loving is this chunky knit sweater with really cool detailing from nasty gal now you guys look at this look at the detailing on this this is very isabel morant inspired it's very very chic i've worn this a ton of ways i recently wore it with a pleated midi skirt and of course another boot my go-to outfit for winter. This one is super affordable. It actually comes in, I believe, a nice burnt orange as well. Very affordable, under 20 bucks, I believe. You guys, I love a good sweater. Of course, I've linked a few of my favorites down below. My go-to places for sweaters are and other stories. Nasty Gal has some incredible sweaters. Lulu's has some really good off-the-shoulder chunky knit sweaters. So if you love a good sweater or if you're in need of a good sweater that's affordable and that's going to last season after season after season check out the description box i've linked a few of my favorites all right guys number two on the list you have probably already guessed but it is a midi skirt i love a knit midi skirt a pleated midi skirt any kind of mini skirt midi skirt works well for winter especially with like a tall boot and a chunky sweater i've already shown you guys 
a lot of this outfit info from my own Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, give your girl a follow at Monroe Steel for all of your style needs. A girl posts all the time, including like style reels. So if you need some inspo, check that out. A midi skirt. I have tons of midi skirts in my wardrobe. Most notably, I just got this one. This is from the brand Awake Mode. They make super avant-garde clothing, very kind of out there, which I love because I love to kind of stand out. I paired this with like an oversized blazer and a booty and it just works. It is a midi skirt, not that great for winter because it does have like these little see-through holes, but you guys get, get the gist. If this is still available anywhere, I'll try and link it down below. But I also have these two midi skirts. Both of these are from Alice McCall. They are a beautiful knit, as you can see. Midi skirts with a slit in the back. I have it in lavender. I wore that during a uh, New York Fashion Week in September. I also have it in this beautiful cream. Um, and I wore this recently with that brown uh, mango sweater and a booty. And I mean, these are very, very thick. They have an elastic waist. These are still available, I believe, at Farfetch. So of course, I will link these down below if you're looking for a great winter midi skirt, a knit that's going to keep you nice and warm with a really nice design element. I will link these Alice McCall skirts and you guys can check them out. They are true to size. Now, this, this skirt might be my favorite. I believe pleats are going to be big for 2022. Um, they're just so elevated, so elegant. It's a style that's never going to go by the wayside. But this uh, pleated skirt is by Regina Pio um, and she is kind of a new, not so much of a newer brand, but kind of lesser known, but I love her clothing, her skirts, the tailoring, um, the designs are just impeccable. And I recently wore this with that nasty gal, like chunky Isabel Marat like sweater and a black Stuart Weitzman boot, the same boots I have on now, but in black. And it was a look, it was a vibe, it was a moment. I put on my Louis Vuitton um, utility belt with it and it just worked. But like I said, <laughs> For winter, my go-to uniform is a chunky sweater, a midi skirt, and a tall boot. It works every single time. So let's get into number three, which is a tall boot, because you've already seen the sweaters, you've already seen the, the midi skirts. Let's get into tall boots. Now I absolutely love a good tall boot. I feel like they are sexy yet very kind of understated. They look really great with midi skirts. I've already shown you guys these caramel brown parton boots that I'm wearing with today's outfit. I also have them in black. They are so comfortable. They're not too tall. The shape of the heel and the shape of the boot is very trendy, but just will never go out of style. The leather is super subtle. It just, they age beautifully. I've had the black ones for about, I wanna say two years and the brown ones for about a year and I've gotten my wear out of these. They're super comfortable. Um, Stuart Weitzman makes some excellent boots. They come in all widths and calf sizes, I believe. So if you have an issue with finding boots in your size, especially if you have larger feet like I do, definitely check out Stuart Weitzman. So comfortable, trendy, last forever. They are a little more on the expensive side, but you will definitely get your cost per wear. I will link the caramel boots I'm wearing as well as the black. Um, they come in a few other colors and textures as well. These are the parton boots and I absolutely love them. I'll show a few ways that I've styled these recently. Another boot and another <laughs> caramel color are these stod boots. I believe a lot of people are not into heels. I'm definitely a heel girl. I can run a marathon in heels, no problem, but a lot of you are not heel women. A, a lot of you are more mature. So if you still want the look, but you don't want the pain of wearing a heel, get a get a kitten heel. And I love the shape of these, very chic. These are stod, um, and they are a kitten heel boot, but they still look very, very chic. They are tall, that beautiful brown caramel color. 
in that nice leather with the stitching down the front just a really nice boot i have these in this color i also have them in black i mean when you live in the northeast and it snows and it rains and it sleets sometimes you still want to look put together with a, a boot but you don't want to wear a heel and that's the reason why i invested in a pair of these in the brown and also in the black i'll link these down below last but not least if you're not a heel wearer you're a little more rough and tough maybe your style is a little edgier these boots are for you again another pair of stuart weitzman boots the last time i wore these boots i got so many compliments i wore them with this uh, baby doll dress you guys chunky if you like the chunk if you're more of a trend girl you're more of a fashion girl you would love these they are super comfortable they come in this green suede and these are actually over the knee boots which is really nice of course they have this stretchy part in the back so if you have wider calves or legs these will work for you as well these are true to size you can even probably size down a half a size they run a little big but if you're wearing a chunky sock they work perfectly these are just great for winter especially if you still want to wear like skirts mini skirts baby doll dresses or shorter shorter length sweater dresses you could pull these off because it's just like wearing a, a pair of pants and they are very very comfortable they come in a few different colors if they are still available i will link them down below but again stuart weitzman one of my favorite brands for boots especially tall boots all right guys so number four on the list is a great pair of denim jeans i have spoken about these margella jeans so many times i included them in my best 2021 purchase video if you haven't watched that video you can check that out next but they're incredible they're great i love them i love wearing them in winter i pair them with like an oversized maybe slouchy sweater and a nice boot and they work great now what i love most about these jeans are that they are very high-waisted i'm loving a very relaxed high-waist jean that gives ample space for your bum that doesn't squish your bum and allows room for your legs to breathe so i love a good mom jean a good high-waisted jean they look great with sweaters and a booty and a trench coat these are margella but of course i will link a few more pair of my favorite high-waisted jeans that are very flattering on any figure down below and you can also style them with like a very slim bodysuit like a turtleneck bodysuit and a booty it's just a wonderful look for fall and for winter instantly makes you look super chic um, as long as the fit is good these are pretty expensive but i have definitely got my cost per wear for these but i will of course link a few below um, from like asos and also and other stories which are two of my favorite places to get high-waisted very form-fitting yet chic uh, denim jeans for winter next on the list number five is a good trench coat i love wearing I mean, I mean trench coats might just be my favorite item of clothing in my wardrobe for winter because pretty much you're covered up anyway in the winter and so your coat has to be on point i have a few to show you a few are actually new and you guys are seeing them first this first one is a suede patchwork colored reek so trench coat I absolutely love this coat but I got this from Brown's Fashion which is one of my favorite places to shop online it was actually on sale and it is stunning like the colors are stunning you guys know I live for like chocolate browns and browns and greens I have so many pairs of boots this would go really great with including the ones I am wearing and I also have a pair of nine west brown suede boots this same exact color that this will match with as well as a pair of Isabel Marant red boots boots that would look great with this i mean i could just see myself wearing this to paris fashion week with maybe like a cream form fitting sweater dress underneath and a booty and one of these colors and it just being a moment very heavy very weighty super stunning a trench coat as long as it's like a statement trench coat or a very neutral trench coat always just instantly elevates any look for winter and it's very warm as well if any of you are interested i got this in the medium and it fits perfectly i'm normally a size six so if you're interested i will link this trench coat down below 
I also have several trench coats from Nasty Gal. You guys know I work with them all year long um, in 2021 as well as 2020. One of my favorite brands to work with. They have incredible trench coats. Uh, so this is one of the trench coats that I have in this beautiful kind of neutral gray tone. It's an oversized coat. It comes with a hoodie. Incredible. You can cinch it in. The price for it is just amazing. It is meant to be oversized. I got my normal size, which is a size six, and it fits perfectly a little bit oversized, which I like. Just a stunning coat. You can cinch it in, give it that hourglass shape. I also have this same coat and a beautiful chocolate brown. And it does come in a few different colors, but again, it has a little tie where you could tie it around the neck. And then it has a hood, nice pockets, great detailing on the sleeve. So if you are not watching like my vlogs where I do fashion hauls and such, you're missing out on so many things. If you're waiting for me to do these collective videos, you're missing out. You're missing out on everything. Everything is probably sold out by now. So make sure you are subscribed and are watching all of my vlogs because I usually include some form of a fashion haul, styling portion, or even shooting fashion content in all of my vlogs in every single one. These coats are incredible from Nasty Gal. I believe they are under $50. And in addition to these two colors, they come in a few more other colors. So if you're in the market for a great trench coat that is affordable, I will link those down below and a few others um, that are cost effective, under 200, as well as this one, which I believe was around the 600 mark from Re Rexo. I have another one. This black hourglass trench coat is one of my absolute favorites. And I got this from Ann Other stories maybe like last year or the year before last but everyone was going crazy for the balenciaga hourglass coats and and other stories came out with kind of like a dupe uh this looks incredible on it's so form-fitting very sharp shoulders super long a little bit of that hourglass shape with the pockets and it just looks wonderful with like those black stuart weitzman part and boots that i showed you all anything i wear with this instantly elevated it is a thicker kind of like wool absolutely love this coat and other stories has incredible coats as well i'm not sure if they still have this one but if they do i'll link it down below the frankie shop is another brand that has really amazing coats and trench coats and wool coats that are really amazing quality that will last you forever. They're a little bit more of on the expensive side, but they do have amazing coats as well. So down below in the description box, if you and I have similar style, I will link all of the coats that I've shown you today if they are available, as well as others that I've seen online that I think you all would love from all different price points. One last trench is this faux leather trench also from nasty gal i showed this in a previous winter haul vlog again if you're not watching my vlogs you're missing out but look at this suppleness like i wish you guys could feel how supple this is i believe this also comes in black and in brown it's super long it has a little tie around the waist looks great with like a sweater dress or even a pair of blue denim jeans a turtleneck and a booty you got yourself a winter look. So I'll link this below if it's available as well. So number five on the list, a good trench coat. It doesn't matter the fabric. You probably need one in black and maybe a nice neutral, one that's a little lighter for rain, one that's a little heavier in a wool for when it's really cold like it is in New York City right now, I believe. The high today is 20. <laughs> I'm not going outside, I'm not. In fact, I'm gonna hop on the next thing, thing smoking to Miami. But anywho, number five on the list, a good trench. I've linked a few of my favorites down below. And I've kind of popped up some inspo here of how I style my trench coats for fall as well as for winter to give you guys some ideas of how to like style up your trench coats as well. Now, I have mentioned this a few times already in this video, but number six on the list is a sweater dress like sweater dresses are just so chic they're so effortless you don't have to think about a bottom you don't have to think about a top like it's just a dress this is one of my favorites i recently wore this on instagram it is a sweater dress from the brand stod and stod does incredible sweater dresses and knit dresses for fall and for winter and most of them i do wear during the winter time but uh 
look at this quality the quality of the knit the balloon sleeves are really in love that i actually paired these with a pair of veronica beard fringe boots and a long shop bag when i work with sex i would definitely link this down below i went with a size small because style tends to run a little bit on the bigger side i usually get a medium but in their clothing i need a small and it fits perfectly um, for reference i am usually a size six and i'm five foot six inches tall but a good sweater dress goes a long way in the winter, especially if you still want to go out and do things like you want to go on dates, have a cute little date night, girls night out. You need something that is still sexy, but that's going to actually keep you warm. You know, it needs to be functional as well as cute. And I will link this dress as well as some of my other favorite style dresses down below so next up is another sweater dress from my very own collection with my girls something by sanji if you all don't know i do have a joint clothing line with sanji williams she was on project runway a few times and in our recent collection we created two sweater dresses and this one is one of my favorites it has this tie that ties around the waist it's super soft it is a brushed cotton i'm not sure if we still have some of these available but they run range from size small to 3xl and we are currently having a 40 percent off everything sale so if you are interested you can check it out. It does have a beautiful slit down the back. This is great with like a tall boot, like the black parton boot, and also just throw a trench coat over it and you have yourself a winter moment. It's also a beautiful berry color that's great for winter. Okay, last but not least for my sweater dresses is this white knit ribbed sweater dress. Uh, this is from Nasty Gal and it's giving Kate I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand Kate, but they do this kind of look a lot and their dresses and tops are very expensive. This is from Nasty Gal and it was under $20. And this is definitely my favorite dress in my wardrobe at the moment. But uh, look at that detailing, so good. And the quality is great. It feels wonderful against my skin. It's a midi dress, wonderful price. Um, if it's still available, which I doubt, I'll link it down below. But if not, of course, I'm going to link a ton of my favorite sweater dresses online at the moment. Can you see me wearing this with the Nasty Gal trench coat, either in brown, with the same brown boot that I have on right now from Stuart Weitzman? Like, it's a vibe. It's a look. It's a moment. So number six on the list of my 10 winter wardrobe favorites of this sweater dress, I have so many i cannot even show you all of them that's how many i have it would take up the entire video but of course i've linked a few of my favorites down below including the ones that i have shown you in today's video now number seven on the list is a hat now if you live in a cold place like new york city it's freezing you want your head to be warm i have a few hats that are kind of my go-to's i love a good baker's boy hat or newspaper boy hat and I also love a good fedora. Because I have my puff, I can't try these on for you. But if you watched one of my latest vlogs, I rocked this like Baker's Boy hat. It's in like a wool felt with a little bit of design on the side. This is actually from H&M back when they used to do Paris collections. Do you guys remember that? That was like seven years ago, maybe six where they used to do a Paris collection every season and I would just always try to get something from that collection. But these hats are very inexpensive. You can find them literally anywhere. They have a ton at ASOS. I'll link down below. I believe they also have them at Mango. They have a few more like more expensive versions of these at Farfetch. I know my girl Janae wears them a lot. So I will link a few of these down below if you guys are into this look. I styled this with like a cape, some stirrup leggings from Sweaty Betty, a white top and like some Chanel mules. It was giving very French vibes in these photos. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can get more of this inspo. But yes, I love these hats. They are also really great if you have short hair or just feel like you don't want to do your hair that day but still want to look chic without taking it like to wearing like a ball cap which is way more just kind of relaxed instead of being more luxe. I'll link a few of these down below. In addition to those, y'all know I live for a good fedora. 
I even made a reel, I believe last year, kind of showcasing some of my favorite fedoras. You guys can check that out on my Instagram. But I like a stiff fedora. Like I don't want it going nowhere. I like to tilt it over to the side. I have this one in like a beautiful off-white color. I actually got this from Urban Outfitters. I'm not sure if they still have it, but if so, of course, I'll link it below. I styled this with a trench coat from the Frankie Shop, a tall white booty from Jill Saunders. Those boots are sold out. I always get so many questions about the white boots, but I will link a few of my favorite white boots that are available down in, in the description box. And this beautiful blue Jacquemus dress, and that was like one of my favorite outfits from either last year or the year before last with this hat. But I love this hat so much that in addition to having it in a cream, off-white, I also got it in black. And I also got it in this beautiful heather gray. I mean, stunning. All three of these hats are from Urban Outfitters. So if they still have them, I'll link them down below, jump on them. Another place that has really good fedoras, hats just like this, is Lulu's. I've worked with Lulu's a ton. Um, the hats are affordable, they're stiff, they're great. Um, they also have a few of these on ASOS as well. So any that I can find online in addition to these, right down there. If you need to, pause the video because I feel like if they do still have these at Urban Outfitters, they're gonna sell out. I've sold them out once before. A great hat for winter, keep your head warm. Also, you just look so elevated. You can pair like a fedora with a white button down, a pair of very relaxed high-waisted mom jeans, a booty, and a trench coat. Perfect winter look. All right guys, so I've already mentioned number eight several times throughout the video, but it is a crisp white button down long sleeve shirt. It goes so well in any wardrobe. You can wear it year round in the spring, summer, you can tie it up, wear it with some, some shorts or a skirt. In fall, winter, you can tuck it into a pair of uh, leggings or a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans or mom jeans. Um, I have two to show you all today. The first one is from Beck and Bridge, which is one of my favorite like Aussie brands. They just do such good sweater dresses, knit dresses, maxi dresses, but they also do a really good top. And I actually wore this in a recent vlog. Like look at this detailing on the sleeve or on the pocket here. It's like a drawstring pocket, but it does slit in the back and you can kind of tie it up and it's super long. So it looks great with like something form fitting on bottom. The last time I wore this top, I styled it with a pair of fleece stirrup pants, kind of like leggings from Sweaty Betty, um, a Chanel mule, one of the Baker Boy hats, a cape from BCBG and this top and it was just a vibe in a moment. I could just have easily have worn this with a pair of just regular leggings and a little kitten heel or a, a knee high boot over a pair of leggings and it's just a wonderful look for winter. Any kind of top like this just makes you look chic. I don't know what it is about a basic white button up that just screams, hey, I'm chic. Um, you know, I'm elevated, this is the look, but it does it every time. But I do have to invest in really good like stain remover because I always get my brown makeup on white shirts, always. So I, I usually buy two or three as backups. I do have a white linen button up shirt that I wear all the time, but that one is usually for spring and summer or when I'm in Miami and I get that one from H&M. I buy at least two or three of those linen button up shirts every spring just to get me through the year but h&m also has some amazing button-up tops um crisp white tops they have them that are super long as well so you can kind of belt it and wear it with leggings and a, a tall boot like a riding boot and a trench and it looks amazing so i will link a few from h&m i will link that exact one from beck and bridge i know a lot of you watched the vlog where i wore that and a lot of you asked about that top um, I also have a white crisp top from Koss. Now, if you've never heard of Koss, they're like an offshoot of H&M. Um, H&M actually owns Koss, um, and they make amazing basics. And so I got a nice crisp white button up from them too. It's kind of oversized, great for tucking into a pair of jeans and rocking with the booty. The great thing about a white button up as well is that you can always throw 
a chunky knit sweater on top and just pop the collar out, pop a little bit of that white underneath, pop the cuffs of the sleeves out, and it just adds a cool element to your look and also adds more layers if where you are is really cold, throw a trench over that and you have yourself a look. So number eight on the list of my 10 winter wardrobe favorites, definitely a crisp white button up. All right guys, so number nine on the list is a booty. Now I've already mentioned a tall boot goes a long way, but also a booty is great for winter as well when you just wanna show a sliver of ankle. I mean, sometimes you just gotta show a little skin in the fall and in, in the winter time, and a booty can do that for you. One of my favorite in my wardrobe are these Alexander Wang booties. I've had these for so long. These are not available anywhere. I recently wore them on Instagram and so many people DM'd me about these boots that I had to make like a public service announcement that they are no longer available. Now maybe you can find them on like Vestiaire Collective, The Real Real, some place that sells secondhand boots, but you're not gonna find these online. <laughs> but of course, I will link a few of my favorite black booties that kind of give this feel down below. They are incredible, super old Alexander Wang, but I absolutely love them and you can tell because I've worn them into the ground. But a good booty, especially one that has some kind of cool design, like here, these have this elastic portion that is also suede and then leather at the bottom. Fabulous, such a fabulous boot. There was a time when everything Alexander Wang did, every collection, I had to get a shoe from it. I was like in love with Alexander Wang's shoes and I have a ton of his archived, like most prized boots. Another boots I'm loving that's a little more affordable are these. These are patent leather booties from Nasty Gal. Under 30 bucks, I believe. So comfortable. Love the design of these heels. I mean, brown is in and of course, just look at this color pa palette. These brown boots literally can go with anything that I have on this rack. And these are true to size. I got a size 10, my normal size, and I have been loving them, very comfortable. Also very cost effective. They have a zip up the back and just great, especially for people who have wider calves. I feel like a booty is the way to go. Now another pair that I am loving right now are these black stod booties. Now these are the booty version of the tall brown boots that I show you guys. These are kitten. Again, for the people out there who can't do a heel, they have kitten heel booties and these are very sophisticated, very chic. I can see myself wearing these with a crisp white shirt, a pair of blue jeans, a trench coat, and this little hat, period. It's a look, it's a vibe, it's instantly chic and also you can walk around all day. Again, these are from Stod. And I'll link these down below. Go with your normal size. I'm usually a US size 10. I get the 41, which is a UK 11 in these, and they fit perfectly. A little zip on the side. It doesn't matter if you have wider calves. These are gonna work for you. They are comfortable. As you can see, I've worn them a few times. Um, so I'll link these down below because I do believe they are still available. And of course, if the Booty is not your style. They do have the tall one as well. Last but not least, another booty I'm loving in my wardrobe are these Isabel Marant red boots. I've wanted these for so long. I'm so happy to finally have a red boot. I've only styled them once. That was more of in the fall, but I feel like a, everybody needs a colored boot just to take your wardrobe out of the mundane, out of the boring. Everybody has brown, everybody has taupe. Not everybody has white, but a good white boot will elevate your wardrobe for sure. But red, ah, it's so good. Isabel Marant makes the most incredible boots. A lot of her boots have more of a Western vibe. They are a lot more expensive, but I know these are gonna last forever. I mean, look how supple that leather is, like incredible. So number nine on the list is a great booty. You can style it with jeans, you can style it with leggings, you can style them with midi dresses, leave a little sliver of calf and ankle out, you know, give the man something to look at y'all. Or women or whoever floats your boat, but still, I like to show a little skin, even in the winter time. Like right now, although I'm completely covered, 
it's the clavicles for me it's the clavicles for me like i, I gotta leave something it's, it's a shoulder for me i gotta leave something out there um even in the winter time all right so let's get into number 10. Now don't eat me up for this but number 10 on the list is an upscale legging now i know people hate leggings but let's just face it like leggings work for winter first of all it's freezing cold okay like sometimes you don't want to wear a dress a sweater dress sometimes you don't want to wear a midi skirt sometimes you don't want to wear a jean you just want to be comfortable how can you be comfortable and elevate that look well you pick a legging that has some kind of elevated element like a pleat down the front or a stirrup or they're more form-fitting or they're more like pants instead of looking like a tight forever 21 four dollar legging here enters my sweaty betty leggings now i've worn these at least three times three or four times since i've gotten them and this is the best thing this might be number one on the list bam you see the pleat you see the pleat? You see the stirrup? I know, stirrups are back. I'm sorry, they are. I mean, with a mule, y'all see how I style these with the Chanel mule? You can also just wear these with a booty. Oh, like this one. Tucked into there. Like, no one even knows it's a stirrup. But here's the thing, it's gonna stay on. You know, it's not gonna be riding up or going anywhere it doesn't need to go. You can also just throw a pair of socks on. Nobody will know. But the fabric on this is what did it for me. First of all, they fit like a dream. They have a zipper up the side. But what I love, the inside is completely fleece. I mean, super warm, cozy, soft. I mean, they are everything. I wore these on like one of the coldest days of the year here in New York City. It was literally like 19 degrees. And I was perfectly, my legs were warm. Okay, my legs were warm. They have a little button here on the side and then they have an invisible zipper. I mean, if y'all don't get nothing else from this video, this is the new wave of leggings. This doesn't even look like a legging. This looks like an elevated pant. I mean, it feels like it too. It feels very thick, more like a neoprene instead of like a very thin cotton. It's not thin. You're not going to be able to see your underwear through it, which is my issue with a lot of leggings like i shouldn't be able to see whatever you have on under there that's a no-go for me these super thick elastic waist sweaty betty who knew i love these i'm gonna link these down below go with your normal size i got the size medium they fit amazing you could dress them up you could dress them down it's just so much you can do with these and stirrups are back you heard it here first, kids. All right, guys, so those are my top 10 winter wardrobe favorites. Just things I love wearing in the winter time, how I like to pair everything together from a thick sweater to a midi skirt to a tall boot, cozy denim, trench coats, sweater dresses, a great hat, a white blouse, a really nice booty, and an upscale legging. I have linked all of these items that I've shown you down below in the description box. If they are not available, I have linked similars. So definitely go down there and get your winter shopping on. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. That'll let me know that you wanna see more videos like this. And I'm trying to get at least 4,000 thumbs up on this video. If you're watching from your TV, hit the up button, the little circle where you see my face. Go over, over, over to the three dots, click that, and you will be able to thumbs up from your TV. Please do comment down below and let me know which piece you loved the most, which piece you're wearing the most this winter, and also what other kind of content you would like to see in these fashion videos. We're gonna do a lot more of these in 2022. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, join the family. I would love to have you. And hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Definitely check me out over on Instagram at Monroe Still for more fashion inspo and reels. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.